Emerald ash borer, or EAB, is a small green insect that kills ash trees. Originally from China, EAB was first found in the U.S. near Detroit, Michigan. It is slowly spreading outwards from this core and will someday reach North Dakota. A lot is at stake here, as ash trees make up the largest portion of our native woodlands, shelter belts, and urban forests. There are over 78 million ash trees in North Dakota, and in some communities, ash comprise more than 60% of the trees. Two of the symptoms of emerald ash borer infestation are excessive sprouting along the main stem of the tree, as well as thinning and dieback of the crown. Some clearer signs of EAB infestation include D-shaped exit holes in the bark that are an eighth of an inch across, and excessive woodpecker damage. Upon closer examination, you may notice vertical splits in the bark. Removing the bark reveals S-shaped tunnels filled with sawdust. Although these characteristics are useful in diagnosis, they're not foolproof. Native pests of ash trees and environmental problems can cause similar symptoms. The earthen dike behind me here is causing soil compaction and damage to the root system of this ash tree. If you suspect EAB, it's important to have your tree inspected by your local city forester or county extension agent. The emerald ash borer was initially discovered in the U.S. near Detroit, Michigan in 2002 and is thought to have resided there for 10 or more years. Although the borer is able to fly, it has moved long distances in infested logs and firewood. Since that time, the borer has made its way mostly through human efforts from Michigan to the East Coast, north into Canada, and south to Missouri. In 2009, EAB was identified as close to North Dakota as Minneapolis and St. Paul. What can you do to help limit the spread of EAB? It's very simple. Use local firewood. This goes for both campers as well as those who heat their homes with wood. Bringing in firewood from an outside area increases the risk of importing EAB and other harmful pests. Where EAB has already been found, quarantines have been established, and it is against federal law to move firewood outside of the quarantine zone. Small prepackaged firewood bundles that are often sold at gas stations must come from areas that are outside of the quarantines. Although firewood producers are not required to label the place of origin, many of them will note where the firewood came from and clearly state that the original location was outside of the quarantine zone. Nevertheless, burn it where you buy it is an easy way of reducing the risk of spreading EAB. Following the epidemic of Dutch elm disease in the 1970s, ash trees were planted to replace elms. There are more than 78 million ash trees in North Dakota, many of them in cities and neighborhoods. As a result, the impact of EAB will be devastating. The street trees on Prairie Wood Drive, uh, about 95% of them are ash, roughly 15 to 18 inch diameter uh, on average. And it's a huge uh, amount of ash that are susceptible to emerald ash borer. Not only is the removal and replacement of dead trees financially taxing, but the loss of such a large number of trees will have a severe environmental impact as well. Loss of trees will increase heating, cooling, and watering costs for residential areas. In rural areas, there will be a loss of wind protection for farmsteads and fields. Wind protection benefits include snowdrift control, crop protection, and control of soil erosion. With the potential loss of 50 to 60 percent of our trees to Dutch elm disease and EAB, it is important to plant replacements. Planting a variety of different trees will decrease the potential future losses to similar epidemics. For recommended varieties of trees suitable for your area, contact your city forester or county extension agent. Our inspectors will obviously do an initial inspection when they look at it and then start to look at some of the symptoms that might mimic emerald ash borer. In summary, if your ash tree is displaying the four symptoms associated with EAB, call your city forester or county extension agent for a closer inspection. Do not move firewood. Remember, burn it where you buy it. When planting new trees, use a variety of species. There is no single best tree species to use for all situations. Everyone's help is needed to minimize the chance of introducing EAB to North Dakota. With your assistance, we can maintain our state's valuable native woodlands, urban forests, and shelter belts for future generations. <laughs>